I think it was Courtney Messingham said you've added some weight since we saw you last year. How much, how much have you put on? Um, I, I definitely changed my body a little bit over this, uh, of this off season, I think I put on nine pounds of muscle and lost a couple pounds of fat too. So that was, that was really my main goal. I didn't really want to change my body weight too much, but I definitely wanted to change the composition of it. So uh, I, I guess I accomplished my goal in, in that, but I want to keep continuing to, you know, move in that direction. Is that something you felt like you, you had to do after going through your first season here? Um, it's definitely something I wanted to do, um, you know, trying to develop more as an athlete, as a runner and, you know, just in the pocket, being able to take hits and, you know, just growing as a, as a player, um, it was something I wanted to do, you know, and, um, and that was kind of one of the goals I set out for this off season. Um, and I'm glad, you know, I'm glad that it was what I did. We kind of, you know, talked about it after the season and kind of set out my goals and we didn't, I didn't want to put on too much more weight, you know, in, in the number. I just wanted to um, you know, kind of change the composition, you know, cut out some fat, add, add some muscle. So, yeah. When you reflected on last season, what did you, what do you think you did best? What do you think you need to improve on moving forward? Um, there's a lot of things I need to improve on. Um, you know, there, there were some bright spots, um, you know, but, uh, a lot of, a lot of things to, to build on. And, um, you know, first of all, just, you know, decision-making, um, which, which is definitely, you know, having a spring ball this year is going to do, uh, do, you know, do numbers in, in terms of that. Um, and I feel a lot better. I feel more experienced in terms of that. But um, I mean, there's, I, I could go on for days. I mean, you know, certain throws and, and certain, you know, maybe in becoming more, you know, a stronger runner, um, being able to, you know, have, so, have more breakaway speed. There, there's a, I could go on for days about personally what I, you know, things I need to work on and improve on. And I'm just trying to, continue to work on, you know, something new every day. And last one for me, what was your reaction when you heard Skyler was uh, coming back for, for an extra season? Um, you know, I, I, I just treated it as, you know, any, you know, any other news. Uh, I'm, I'm glad Skyler's back. He, you know, he's a, he's a great friend of mine. Uh, we've definitely um, grown a lot closer over the past, you know, over last season and even, you know, this, this off season here. Um, and, you know, he's, you know, we, we, we've become pretty good friends and, you know, it's good to have a guy like him around and, um, you know, he, he's, he's been great for me in terms of, you know, teaching me and, um, you know, giving me some, some good advice over the course of last year and even now. So, you know, it's good to have a guy like him back. All right. Thanks, Will. Glad to hear things are going good for you. Thank you. There. Hey, well, I don't know if overwhelming is, is the right word, but in terms of your true freshman season, was it was the speed of the game probably the biggest challenge that was in front of you? Uh, yeah, there were a lot of challenges, and that's definitely one of them, you know, getting thrown in and, you know, not really expecting to play. I mean, I, I you know, you want to say you're always ready, you know, as a backup, but, you know, being being asked to play in that kind of capacity was not something I was exactly, you know, ready for, I, I guess you could say, but. Uh, you know, that was definitely a big piece of it was that speed of the game and, you know, being ready to, you know, just just how things move and, you know, how defenses play and how much different it is than the high school game um, was definitely something that was that was different out there last year and something that I, you know, that the experience of having last year is going to definitely help me in the future. But, you know, it it, it bit me at times at not having that experience. Um, so, you know, it was definitely good to you know, get that experience and have those those games and that that time under my belt to see that, uh, you know, live. If I remember correctly, you were supposed to be a participant for spring ball last year. You were you were an actual early enrollee, but you didn't get to because of COVID. But you've had spring ball this year. Knowing what you've experienced in the spring ball, do you think that would have helped you a lot more last season had you had that? Yeah, definitely, definitely. It, uh, you know, just, I mean, being here would have helped too. I mean, I was at home for however many months we were at home and, uh, you know, that definitely didn't help anything, but, you know, being able to have it this year and, um, you know, just getting the, the reps that you get and the, you know, the extra time to just work on yourself and work on, you know, the things you need to improve on personally and as a team um, is, is unmatched. And um, it's definitely been really nice to have it this year, this time around. Skyler's back healthy. 
Um, we've heard, you know, Jaron Lewis making progress. You guys added Jake Rupley, of course, too. Just how competitive is that quarterback room from the time yeah. that you arrived? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I love the competition, and that's that's something I didn't say earlier. But Skyler, you know, having him back and having Jaron, guys like Jaron and Jake, and, you know, all, our whole room, um, you know, we all, we're all very close, and we all, you know, are good friends with each other. But, uh, you know, we, we know that we're competing, and, you know, that's that's just kind of how it goes. And I really like the, how, uh, how competitive it is and how um, and how it kind of pushes me and pushes all of us to be better every single day. Thanks, Will. Thank you. Fitz. Hey, Will. Uh, what did Will Howard learn about himself last year? He learned a lot. He learned a lot. Um, you know, just I, I was able to grow up a lot over last year. Um, you know, coming in, you know, as a young kid, an 18-year-old, um, you know, not really knowing what the college game is like, not really ever taking any snaps, um, not really ever, you know, being, being on my own, I'd always just been, you know, in high school living with my parents and, you know, I kind of had to grow up a, a lot in terms of, you know, not even just on the field, you know, off the field too. But, um, I, I learned a lot about, um, you know, just kind of pushing through and being able to overcome things that, you know, were difficult. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to say I had never had a football season that was that hard, but, it was, it was a difficult year in terms of COVID and in terms of, you know, all the, all the things that we had to go against and as a team and, you know, personally, you know, being thrown into that and, you know, not really knowing what to expect. Um, I definitely learned a lot about myself and, you know, how to, how to kind of come back and, and uh, you know, combat those, those, those things that, um, you know, are, are difficult and, you know, I think that that as, as tough as it was last year, it's definitely going to, you know, pay dividends in the future. Did it ever feel overwhelming at times? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was tough. I, you know, I didn't get to go home for however many seven months, I think it was. And, um, you know, it was, it was a lot of, you know, it was a lot of stuff that was thrown at me and at us as a team. Um, but, you know, I just, I just knew that I wasn't doing it for myself. You know, it was, it was, it was a team effort, and I, I knew I had to, you know, just keep pushing through because, um, you know, this is all I've ever wanted. This is my dream, and at times it, it seemed hard, and it seemed, you know, like it was, it was, you know, a tough situation. But then I think back, and I, you know, you try to put things in perspective, and, you know, this has been my dream since I was a kid, and, you know, I'm getting to live it out. And even though things weren't going as planned, you know, always, it was uh, – it was a heck of an experience and I'm glad I had it because it's going to, it's going to help me a lot in the future and it's going to help us be a better team in the future. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Ryan. Hey, well, you know, now that you've had just the months to, to decompress and kind of look back on, on last season, how do you view how it went for you? I mean, do you view it as success that you came in and did some things as a true freshman that, some K-State freshmen have never done or was just some of the struggles made it really hard to view it as a positive year for you? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm a very critical person, especially of myself. And, you know, going back and watching the film, you know, there were some, there were some good things that I did, I, I you know, for sure. But um, really looking at it, I, I, I know that I'm better than what I put out there. And we know that we're better than what we put out there. And, you know, we've made strides as a team to – you know, change our culture and change what we do around here and change how we practice. And I feel like it's going really well, but personally, um, you know, I wouldn't say I was happy with last year. I mean, it's, you know, ending how we did four and six, I mean, that's never how you want to end a, end a season. Um, but, you know, I tried to, I tried not to get down on myself too much about it this off season. It was nice to kind of, you know, look back at it from a, you know, from a higher from a higher lens and from a different lens, you know, then it's, it's always different when you're in it. And then when you step away for a little bit and you get some time to think about it and, you know, kind of reflect over what happened last year. Um, you know, it, it was tough. It was tough at times, but, um, you know, th there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that we can take and, and make into positives from, from last year as, as tough as it was. 
after not getting to go through spring last year, how beneficial has this already been this year for you to get these get to, to get these reps? It's been it's been really really big for me, um, and for us as a team. I mean, it's you know it it hurt our it not just me it hurt our whole team. You know, not being able to have a spring ball last year, and I think it's definitely helping us come together more as a unit. You know, as an offense, as a defense, and you know, work on some of the things that we want to you know improve on. And um, yeah, it's 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 done. You know it's done numbers for me and for us as a team. Well, and, and you noting that, where, where do you think if you'd had last year would have been the biggest uh, difference for you last fall? Uh, if I had spring ball last year? Yeah. Um, probably just knowledge and understanding of uh, the, our offense and, you know, our and, and defenses going against defenses and how the, how they move around, how, you know, things kind of, change and operate I guess in in the college game you know I I I was studying our offense you know and I knew it you know in terms of you know on on the on the chalkboard but it, it's a whole different game when you get out there and you know not not being able to get any live reps until the fall you know definitely hurt me a little bit in that respect and being able to you know if I would would have been able to have some reps under my belt and kind of know what a practice is like here you know know how things work that would have helped and, you know, but looking back at it, I mean, it is what it is. And, you know, I'm getting it now. And um, it, it's definitely a really good thing that we're being able to do it now. And hopefully things with COVID are moving in the right direction. Well, the last thing, Will, you know, you guys lost a lot of kind of notable defenders, you know, between Wyatt, Drew, Eli, Justin Hughes. Who's been the guy at practice that maybe just seems like day in and day out, he's the guy that's like you got to really be pointing out on defense. You know, when you're when you're out there on offense, point out like, hey, we got to be looking for him. Make sure we pick him up. Yeah, yeah, we've had a lot of good guys on defense step up. I mean, um, we've got some good transfers. Julius Brents has been has been really good this spring. Timmy Horn, those two guys have have really stuck out to me as as you know guys we've struggled. Uh, you know, they they they're they're just some dudes. You know, they're they're really good players. And you know, we we all all across the board, we've had some some really good play from a lot of dudes, you know, on the defense. And I really like how our defense is moving, even though we, you know, lost some guys and, you know, some notable guys from last year that, you know, are going to go do some big things and probably the, at probably the next level. Um, I think we got some, some really good guys behind them.